I'm Sarah Mullins. I make industrial sandpaper. And basically everything around us is manufactured at some point and it all needs some kind of sandpaper. So uh, the chemistry that I do is actually uh, materials, making um, grinding wheels, making them have the right properties in terms of hardness and ability to break down when they're actually put into use at a predictable rate. Some of the grinding wheels are about nine inches wide. They go on these big, heavy tools. And when you're using that, it'll, it vibrates, right? So from a testing point of view, I might evaluate the wheel and go, oh, well, it's performance 2x or what it was because I changed the formulation. But what's important to the operator is that if they get fatigued from the vibration, they don't care how fast it's cutting. So a lot of ideas actually come from just talking to them and then coming back to the lab and talking to my colleagues and being like, okay, how can we design an experiment to test that? Some of the opportunities we have is that in the world of manufacturing, people keep using new kinds of materials. We're using different kinds of steels than we did 20 years ago or 50 years ago. People come up with new designs that will work for those substrates. I mean, a lot of uh, ceramics is figuring out um, through trial and error, different formulations, uh, what, what gives you the right uh, microstructure to get the breakdown because you're basically trying to um, make grits that break down in a predictable way. I think the way you would get to this kind of job now is really looking at the fundamentals. I understand how to make things, I know how to test things, I know how to set up test methods, analyze data, uh, really strong in reaction kinetics and mechanisms. I use those tools every day, just on a different kind of application. I chose to work at 3M because I really buy in to the mission that really is about innovation in technology to improve people's lives. I always say, I've done some recruiting, and I always say, if we just wanted to make money, there are so many easier ways to do it than innovation and technology. <laughs> so it really is the heart and soul to say, what are the, the pains that people have in implementing ideas? I could see over time that there were different kinds of opportunities, different parts of commercialization, different kinds of products, different kinds of customers, but, but the one uniting force was always, we're supposed to do new things that are useful. I thought, that's awesome.